Good Monday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. And as we start another week off, let's go ahead and take a look at what you can expect around the county from the weather. And we'll start off uh, taking a look at the radar. And you can see there are some isolated showers and thunderstorms out in the Gulf of Mexico, moving northeast across the state of Florida, off the Atlantic Ocean. A few isolated showers and thunderstorms off the northeast coast of the United States as well. But around our area, we continue to remain nice and dry. We'll go ahead and zoom in here and take a look at what is currently going on with the temperatures. And you can see that we have temperatures in the 40s for most of the area, uh, upper 40s for the county, 47 in Salisbury. We've got the 50s out toward the coast and 50s off uh, to our west and to eastern Tennessee and up to our north as well and down to the deep south. So what we've got going on right now in terms of driving our weather for us today is there is a cold front or a front that's moving through and it will, it's kind of right in this area right now. And then back in behind it, there's a huge ridge of high pressure. Uh, so what's going to happen is that front continues to make its way through the day. It'll actually warm us up a little bit as we move through the week because it will allow winds to shift from where they've been blowing from out of the north. And these winds will actually circulate around and start to blow from out of the southwest. And that'll bring in warmer air as we make our way through the week. Let me go ahead and clear those out of the way here real quick. And we are going to take a look at the model data. And really, again, as we've been doing for the last couple of days, it's just going to be all about the temperatures, to be quite honest with you. Because that's the story for us right now. Uh, we do have a chance for some rain later in the week, and I will give you an update on that in just a few moments. But as far as what the temperatures are going to do today, so this is 7 a.m. You can see, again, temperatures in the 40s and 50s for most of the area. As we make our way through the day, we are now at uh, 12 noon. And you can see that uh, it is currently, we're looking at temperatures in the 60s at that point, some 50s up in the mountains. As we continue to make our way through the day, we're now at um, 5 p.m., and you can see still 60s for uh, most of the area. There are some 70s down toward Charlotte and the southern portion of the state into South Carolina, 50 still up in the mountains. And as we make our way to around 10 p.m. this evening, you can see 50s for most of the area, uh, 40s for the mountains, a few 60s out along the coast. So the temperatures again today, we'll see a chance of making it potentially into the 70s. I actually have us forecasted to make us or to make it into the low 70s. And we'll talk about that as we continue to discuss the forecast here. First of all, weather impacts for today. We'll see sunny skies during the daytime hours. Winds will be out of the north to keep a cool feel to the air today. But again, those winds are going to shift as we go through the week and start to come out of the southwest, bringing in uh, warmer air and getting, getting us above normal in terms of the temperatures. Uh, tonight, we'll see clear skies with a uh, Excuse me. We'll see clear skies this evening, helping the temperatures drop back into the upper 40s uh, to right around 50 degrees. So as I mentioned, we could see rain by the end of the week, and it would come from what is currently tropical depression number 26, which could become our next name storm, Delta, over the next 24 to 36 hours. The current forecast track has the storm moving northwest across the Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico over the next few days. And by later this afternoon, it will likely become a tropical storm delta. And then by the middle of the week, become a category one hurricane. And then it could make landfall early Friday morning off the coast of Louisiana, uh, which would be just another storm for them this hurricane season as a category two storm. Obviously, there's still plenty of ocean between uh, Louisiana and the storm right now. So a lot can change. We'll certainly keep an eye on it. But the storm after it makes landfall is expected to make a northeast turn and be ushered along with a front that'll be moving through that could bring some of the rain from the remnants of this storm into our area by next weekend. So we'll certainly keep an eye on that and keep you updated on it. Sunset times. We continue to see the sunset earlier and earlier. Last night was our last sunset of the year, uh, which would have taking place after 7 p.m. Everything now is going to be uh, prior to 7 p.m. as we continue to make our way through the month of October into the month of November. So this Friday, the sunset will be at 6.54 p.m. On Friday, October the 16th, 6.45. On Friday, October the 23rd, it'll be at 6.36. 
and on Friday, October the 30th, it'll be at 6.28 p.m. So getting closer and closer to 6 p.m. Uh, by the end of the month as we round our way into November. So we'll certainly keep you updated uh, as we get closer and closer to the shortest day of the year, which is always December the 17th, and the sun sets right around 5 p.m. at that point. So as you can tell, we've got plenty of daylight that we're going to continue to lose over the next two, two and a half months. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call at 704-857-5684 or visit them at www.sasloop.com. Mention that you saw that they sponsored the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Today, we'll see sunny skies with a high of 71, partly cloudy skies this evening with a low of 48. On Tuesday, we'll see sunny skies with a high of 75 and a low of 53. Wednesday, sunny skies, high of 80, low of 55. Wednesday will be our warmest day of the week. We'll have a front that'll start to move through the area that'll uh, cool us back now once again. And that'll get us sunny skies with a high of 78 on Thursday with partly cloudy skies and a low of 53. And then on Friday, we'll see partly sunny skies with cooler air starting to make its way back into the county, low of 68, but increasing cloudiness Friday evening with a low of 55. We're gonna see mostly cloudy skies Friday. And we could ultimately see rain make its way again into the forecast uh, as we get closer to the weekend. It's all gonna depend on the track of what will likely become Hurricane Delta as we uh, make our way through the next five to seven days. We'll certainly keep you updated on that. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather throughout the day, you can visit us on our website at www.rowancountyweather.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you have someone you know that does not utilize the internet or social media and they have cable television, they can check us out on WSRG TV in Salisbury. That is available on Hotwire and on Spectrum, and we'll certainly keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Monday, and as always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather.